Hello everyone, Bradley Swart here, and yesterday I was introduced to a puzzle word game that probably everyone in the world knows about but me. Uh, apparently this is like day 271 of this thing or something like that. Let me see. 218. So this thing's been going on for about seven months now, and I'm just finding out about it now. Even my mom knew about it, but whatever. That's for another time. So the, the game is called Wordle. And you can go find it. It's not hard to find. It's surprisingly not an app. It's just just a web page or just something you go and play. And uh, you get six guesses at a five-letter word. And it's basically, I forget, with mastermind, with words. A uh, pretty simple concept. But the question is, and it, it, like many people here, I'm like, I want to know the optimal strategy for playing this game. So I'm thinking, what is the best first Five letter word that I can use to start this game and that's where this this video started the idea for this video started and I have my best five letter word and everyone else seems to have theirs and they have different ways and and um, not to say that the, their ways are any better or worse because this is just meant to be a fun game uh, but my example kind of goes like this here is how I took yeah, you know, went from nothing to my final word, my starting word. So I have the Wordle word list. Apparently, there's 2,000 and something words that are official. They stole it from the website or whatever, or stole it from, from inside the web page or something. You know how hackers are. So there's 2,315 possible five-letter words that I can use. And so the first thing I have to do, like pretty much anything like this, is I have to get the word list into... Uh, into you know what I'm into my program. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to say with and say open. I'm going to say Wordle. Again, like the hardest part is making sure I spell the file right. As file, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to say my data. It's going to be it's going to be a list. And I'm going to say let's uh, word. I, I word uh, dot split. And then I'm going to split by the new line character because if you notice that there were new lines on everything there. And then I'm going to take, because I'm splitting by the new line character, I'm going to take the first element, which is the thing I actually want, for every word in the file as I read it line, read it line by line. And so that should take care of part one. And let's take a look. Let's run our program and see that our data consists of a ton of different elements here. There's the first 300 something. There's 2,315, just like there's one for every line. And again, this can't show everything. So that is the first part. I have my, my word list in here. And so now what I want to do, the next thing I want to do is I want to take every word and I want to pretty much figure out the letter frequencies for every letter of every word. Because I want to know, like, if it, the, the first letter for all the words, like how many, what percentage of the first letters are A's, what percentage of the first letters are B's, and so forth and so on. Like which, like for the third letter, what percentage are Q's? Probably not many, but it's probably non-zero, but it is a very small possibility. So that's where my, the next thought process comes from. It was like, well, how do I go about doing something like that? So what do I want to do? I want to set up uh, basically a 26 by five list and that's what I have here. So I say, okay, cool. Give me 26 elements, one for every letter, and it's all going to be lowercase letters. So give me all the lowercase letters, and then do that five times over so that I can keep, keep track of that. So basically, the first list is for the first letter, the second list for the second, and the third, and the fourth, and the fifth, and all 26 letters. I just have to remember that zero is the A, one is the B, dot, 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 25 is the Z. And so then for every one of, for every word, oops, for every word in this list, in my data, I want to go ahead and say, let's add to, let's add to this frequency table. And so that's what this is doing here. And I'm using enumerate for every word so I can keep track of each index as I go and then every character through, in every word. And all I'm doing is saying, okay, frequency for the first letter, Okay, then I go, oh, what character are you? And then I'm going to add that to the frequency table. And what this ORD function, just it just takes a character, which is a, like a, an ASCII character, and converts it into its uh, ordinal uh, integer value, and then subtract off 97 because that's the lowercase a. And so like a lowercase a, this would come back as a zero, 
and the lowercase z, this would come back as the 25. So for the first for the first character, that would be frequency 0, and then whatever comes in, plus equals 1. And so just to kind of show that, or, oops, I int, what language am I in, Brad? And like this, just to kind of show where we're at. And it all, it, and it's all going to come out, everything's going to be, everything is going to be integer values. So out of 2,100 words, 141 of them start out with an A. 173 of them start off with a B, and so forth and so on. And I, again, I'm curious, because this thing doesn't show everything, I'm curious if there's any, any letter that, that comes up zero, which probably, it, it probably does, but uh, that would just mean that that word is impossible, but it can't be impossible, ah, whatever. So, but just so you kind of get a feeling for where we're going. So that gives us the frequencies, and as it turns out, I do not need to worry about this part as I had written previously, because I don't need to sum up the frequencies because that's just going to be the, the length of the word list, which is 2,315 or whatever. So I'm going to get rid of this and not worry about that so much. And so now the, the next part is basically for every word, go through and multiply all those frequencies out. And so like the word stone, like start with the number one and multiply. What is the probability of the S in the first letter? and then multiply that by the probability of the T as the second letter, and the O as the third, and uh, N as the fourth, and E as the fifth. And you'll get a very small number. Everything is going to be relatively small because all of the 2,135 uh, aspects of this need to sum up to one. So on average, you're, you know, basically, if you want to think of it from a percentage standpoint, you're, it's not even, it's not even, it is not even. It's just a very, very tiny number. But these things will, very, will in, in all likelihood here, be, you know, it's all relative. So say, like, the word that comes out, um, it's, you know, it, it's the best of the 2,000 words. It's, of course, it's only going to work one time. But the goal is to try to get you the most letters for the bang for the buck. So that's what we're going for. What word will give me most, most letters most times? And again, uh, I am not a statistician. I'm trying to become one, I guess, in a, in a small way. This stuff does interest me. But I am uh, definitely just an amateur when it comes to this. Okay, so now what do I want to do? And what, how do I do what I just said? So I'm going to keep track of a list. And I'm going to say for every word in my data set, I'm going to start with the probability being 1. Move this over, tab that over. And then I'm going to go through every letter in that word. And I'm going to, exactly what I said, I'm going to basically go ahead and figure out its, uh, its relative frequency and multiply that through. And of course, you need to start this thing out at 1 so that um, if you start it with 0 and multiply, you'll never get anything. So I need to take this out and just say, give me the length of, uh, I, well, I guess I, I could even, well, I, I kind of can keep it where I had before. So I can say that the number of words, that's never going to change. It's always going to be that 2,300 and whatever, is just equal to the length of my data. And I can use that here to do the math. Because it's, again, it's all relative. I guess, I guess I don't necessarily have to do that as long, because if I'm doing the math the same for everybody, it does, as long as I'm dividing by the same number all the time for everything, it all evens out. So I guess I could get away with it. And I'll try this at the end maybe to say that you know, I don't need, I need these frequencies, but I don't necessarily need to divide by this over and over and over again because everybody's doing it. So anyway, so coming back. So what am I doing here? Let's take a look. Let me see. Make, let me make sure I get myself to the right place here. So D then has this list. And you can see a back. And again, these, all these numbers are going to be very small. Excuse me, a back. The probability of a back is 1.789 times 10 to the negative 7. So that's a very small probability. And all of these have a very small probability, but you notice that they're all different because some letters are more, are found better and easier than others. So, like this, this is a tiny one, e to the negative 10, because the, how often are f's and x's found in these things? Almost nil. And again, this is interesting to see if there's anything. Oh, Obviously, everything in this list has to come back as a non-zero because if it's in the list, there's at least one inside of the inside of the sample set. So that's what we're doing for every. You know, so basically, the number of words. Oh, I already know. Oh, I already had that here. Oh, I guess I I didn't notice that I had that there, and I can I can simplify that. I don't need to sum it. Oh, silly me trying to change everything on the fly while I'm trying to do my video here. 
So anyway, so now, okay, we can, let me try, let me simplify this one, one more time with that understanding. Okay. Go, come on, there we go. And yes, we get ourselves to the same place. And so for every word, take the probability, enumerate, so because I need this, and you go, okay, first letter, how many, how many of you are Bs? And then divide that in and, and divide and multiply that thing out over and over and over again. And so you'll end up with what you end up with, and then you add that probability to the word, and then you add that to the list. So that's this step. And now the final step is just to sort the thing and print out the top 20 words. So let me, while I'm doing, thinking this out. Okay, so that's just saying, and this is the, I guess, a little trickier part. How do I sort a list of lists? And this is just uh, uh, Stack Overflow to its, you know, to its T here. So I say, okay, sort my dic or my pseudo dictionary uh, by the first elements, and I want to at this moment I want to do reverse orders true because I want to I want this thing sorted uh, low to high, or I'm sorry, high to low. I want the, the biggest number is the one that is the best probability. So I want the biggest numbers to be up front. And uh, after that, I just say for index in range 20. So this is this will give me the best 20. And I'm just going to steal this from my my previous work here because it's a formatted string. And let me do this. And what you get, do this. Let me bring this up. Bring this down to see oops, see everything. Run this. Here's your top 20 and the number one word. Oh, this is just a happy accident. The number one word is saint. At least, at least when it comes to the data set I have and the and the way that I'm approaching solving the problem. So if I start with the word saint, uh, according to this, I'm the most likely to get at least eight, some letters involved here because these are all very similar. You know, these are all very common letters. If you ever think of Wheel of Fortune, there's R and then there's S T L N, and there's no E here, but you get A and I combined, so you get a little combination of some some vowels and some some vowels and some consonants. Same thing here, R S. R, S, T, L, N, no N, but E. See, basically five of the six letters. So slate may be a better word according to Wheel of Fortune. And you can see, you'll work your way down. And if you really want to go down to what is the worst word to choose from, you could just do this. You don't even need to range this. You just do every word in here and print it out. And so that, and so what I wanted to do say here, I don't think I need to divide by this. I don't need, I don't think I need this. But what happens if I run this this way, I see I get the same result because if I'm doing the same calculation over and over and over again and all and it's a constant, if I'm doing if I'm dividing that by five times over, I'm dividing it for everybody. So I can speed everything up and get rid of this and just say I don't need that because that calculation is superfluous and it's just unnecessary and it's just adding uh, it's adding some multiplications that's, you know, that do not need to occur. So that was, that's the whole problem. Saint is my word. I've been using it, I used it today, and it seemed to, it seemed to work. And, um, and I'm not gonna go forward and make this any more complicated than it needs to be since it's a fun little game and a fun little problem to solve for you guys. But uh, if I misspoke about anything, or if you know a better way, or if you just, anything else, you wanna chat or anything here, I'd love to hear, hear your comments, and please comment down below. And I'll get back to you as soon as I can. Well, thanks for sticking it out with me as always. Hope you guys enjoy my other video series. And I get to, I, the fun part of this is I get to come up with fun problems and find fun problems and try to teach the world, teach one or two of you guys, uh, whatever it is that, uh, it just seems interesting to me. So thanks everybody. Have a great day. I'll see you next time. Have a good one.